So when I was younger, I had an uncle who was a radio DJ. Okay. And he had instrumentals of very popular songs at the time. Oh. So occasionally, I'll just go around his room and then hear him playing something from his loudspeaker. Oh. And then I'll try to, you know, do a small freestyle, yeah. you know, try something small. And then one time he called me in and then he said I should, I should actually rap or do whatever it is that I was doing. Okay. And then I did and he liked it. So he was like, I should start recording it on my phone. At that time I had a little, a little phone and hey, it was able to, me, how old were it, you it, it was, phone? uh, I think there was, this was 2007. I forgot what age I was. <laughs> Some of us, we only had a phone this, this yeah. past year. Yeah, but I didn't have a seminar or anything. It was, uh, just, it was just like for entertainment. Mm, yeah. Your parents were cool. People. <laughs> I parents, hey, my mom, the first one I had was Sam Yambi. Yeah. No, it was the landline. Okay. That, was, that would be your first phone experience. So I'm glad that yeah. you had that ability to explore your creative yeah. process at that yeah. young age. Now, coming up all the way into the music journey and now becoming VGM and Vodafone Ghana Music Awards and Song Act of the Year yeah. 2022, how did that feel like for you? Um, actually, I was nominated. Mm. I wasn't um, awarded, mm. but the experience was was very honoring, mm. and it was a good experience to meet different artists mm. who are also doing their thing in their own specs. And yeah, I'm very thankful for the opportunity. All in all. Okay.